it's part three of our Morella Cruise Vlog series. Last week saw us on the idyllic islands of Santorini and Mykonos. Today it's the turn of Rhodes Town and Harnia. There'll be palaces and knights, lighthouses and knights, beers and even more knights, and of course a plethora of Greek cats thrown in. If you don't know us, I'm Rachel, he's Wills, and we are Postcard and a Pint. For more of our mad adventures, give us a like and a cheeky subscribe so you don't miss out. It's free to do. Now how's your day going to start? It's a calm and tranquil sunrise over Old Rhodes Town. Well, it was until these two idiots got up. What do you say? Morning! And welcome to Rhodes. Welcome indeed. Now we're off out alone today. Let's start the day with a gag from the king of comedy. I'm tired now. Night night. Earth shatteringly funny as always. To me, to you, to me, to you. Well done lads. The cruise terminal is right next to the old town, so no need for taxis today. We'd gotten off early to beat the crowd. Your first fact please, Rach. There are 11 gates into the ancient city. We've just entered through the Gate of the Virgin and we're now going to check out the Church of the Virgin. Come with us. The Gate of the Virgin is the closest one to the cruise port. The Church of the Virgin dates back to the 14th century and is one of the oldest remaining buildings from the era of the Knights of Hospitaller during medieval times. And cat number one, Katsiki. Moving on. Me thinks the night thing is going to be a bit of a theme here. Now this was pretty impressive. This is the Street of the Knights. It's one of the best preserved medieval streets in Europe. The Knights of St John were also called the Knights of Rhodes and... This street has seven inns representing the seven countries where the Knights of the Order of St John came from. Their primary role was to protect the vulnerable and the weak, including pilgrims, travellers and the sick. 2022 marked the 500th anniversary of the surrender of Rhodes to the Ottoman Sultan Suleiman and the departure of the Knights Hospitaller, who were obliged to leave. To mark this anniversary, there is an impressive historical exhibition to commemorate their time here from 1309 to 1522. This exhibition is on the first floor of the Auberge of the Longa of Spain. We really enjoyed it. Next, we moved on to the Palace of the Grand Masters. We paid eight euros for a ticket and this gave us access to both the grounds and inside. Some history please, Rach. We're now in the Palace of the Grand Masters, originally built in the 14th century for the Knights of St John, but we'll tell you a story of why it was rebuilt. The palace was built in the 14th century on the foundations of the Temple of the Sun God Helios, but... In 1856, next door to this was the Church of St John. Now unfortunately, this was hit by lightning, which is okay, unless you've got some long abandoned and long forgotten gunpowder in your cellars. What happened, Wills? Boom! <laughs> yup, it raised the entire church to the ground and most of the Grand Master's Palace was destroyed. But... At the start of the 20th century, the palace was restored by the Italians who occupied the Dodecanese Islands at the time. The original palace was converted by the knights into their administrative centre and the palace of their Grand Master. A lot of the mosaics you see today decorating the first floor of the palace came from the excavations carried out by the Italians on the island of Cos after the earthquake of 1933. They were fitted here as a kind of modern carpet. Some date back to the 5th century. It may be 5th century inside, it's definitely 2023 outside. After its restoration was complete, the palace became a holiday residence for the King of Italy. In 1948, the Dodecanese Islands became Greek once again, and the palace is now a museum visited by millions of tourists. Moving on to the Reloy Clock Tower. This originates from the 7th century, but was also damaged by the explosion in 1856, and then rebuilt. Uh-oh, those steps look steep. Are you whinging yet, Rach? More steps, more climbing. We're in the Reloy Tower. Um, apologies, I've just said that wrong. We get a free drink with our ticket. It was five euros to come up. Brilliant views, very steep stairs. For all my whinging, there are only 53 steps up, and the views are worth it. Time to head back down and into the courtyard for a drink. Wills? I'll tell you what, it's dead off. We're dripping already. Um, we've just been up the clock tower, as you've seen, and we're going to take a wander down through the old windy streets of Rhodes Town. So off we went, and this is Wills on his night out. Ooh, this looks familiar, and it's definitely time for another drink stop. Cracking views, 
No, not her. That. Bit of a trip down memory lane at this one. We've stopped for a drink and we came here when we first came to Rhodes. God knows how long ago. And we came up here for some dinner and it was really lovely. We're sat in the same seats with the same view, although the big view today is a block of flats called the Virgin Cruise Ship. But nice times. Then off we wandered into the old town. Rhodes Town is incredibly charming. There are so many souvenir shops offering a whole range of things to buy. And cats. This one was particularly oh, vocal. Food. You've got food there. Well, you, someone's giving you crisps. Ah! You, don't like crisps. Ah! you don't like crisps. You don't like crisps. You don't like crisps. She didn't like crisps and I named her Meow Juicer. Sorry. Now, where are you going? We have no idea where we're going. We're just wandering the windy streets of Old Rhodes Town. Listen to those crickets in the background. They're really loud, aren't they? Let's go see where we can find. We kept on wandering in a down-type direction and pretty soon we were back in civilization. Ooh, it's hot. We need some water. What? OK, then. We wandered through the main shopping area on the lookout for somewhere to eat as it was fast approaching lunchtime. You can pick up some really great local art in Rhodes for pretty reasonable prices. In fact, Rhodes artwork graces both our living room and summer house. This looks lovely. Some local honey for Wills' mum and Christmas decorations. Always Christmas decorations. I wasn't going to leave them there, was I? <laughs> Yum as to that. Christmas this year will be an all right night. Sorry. Right, food. We got up early, so now it's time to find us some lunch. This beautiful square with its fountain and many bars and restaurants becomes quite busy as you head towards lunchtime. Those knights knew how to stock wine. Now this looks nice. Nice and shaded with some lovely Greek food. Tell us about a Rhodes beer. Now the beer brewed in Rhodes is Zithos Vap. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but nice. Cool glass. Grr. All stocked up on beer, souvlaki and chips, we said goodbye to Persephone and went on our way. So do we, but now it's time to leave the city walls and head on outside. Thanks Rhodes Old Town. We remembered these cool boat shops from previous visits, selling natural sponges. Around the harbour we walked. Hello house and dirty great big block of flats behind it. See you later. This is St Paul's Gate. This gate once served as an entry point to the city from the harbour of Mandraki and the Danaic Pier. Talking of Mandraki Harbour, that's where we're off to next. point of the day, I recorded a fair few sections all about the Colossus of Rhodes. I'm not going to lie, I thought it was some of my best work. I remembered my facts and I didn't say, er, uh, once, but of course. Yep, none of the sound for the rest of our time ashore came out on the GoPro. Shame really, as I was on fire, I promise you. Anyway, the Colossus of Rhodes might have stood over there. I was now overheating after remembering so many Rhodes facts and needed to get back to the ship. Now it's time for Towel Animal Takedown. Ooh, it's Roland Rat. Or should that be Roland Flat? Sadder. If you saw last week's video, you'll see we entered the pub quiz at the Squid and Anchor. They do one at five o'clock every evening. Last week, or well, last night for us, but last, last week's video, we got 12 out of 20. Today, we're going to see if we can get more. Good luck, guys. It's going all right. I think we know a few today. Is it an 80s quiz, then? Question 16. What Shakespeare play contains the line to be or not to be? What is the question? You're not funny. Did you win? We got 15. We didn't win. It was better than yesterday. It's an improvement. Now go and watch the sail away. You know you enjoy that. We've ended up on the smoking deck again. Neither of us smoke, but it's one of the best seats in the house. Yeah. Sail out for sure. Another lovely sail out with a glass of wine in hand. Ah, this is the life. Can we stay for next week too, please? We went back to the main dining room, Latitude 57, because the food here is so good, the wine keeps flowing, courtesy of... Hello! <laughs> Welcome to Moral Explorer. 
I'm one of the way you're here. His name is Noel. And it's a my pleasure to be your waiter tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He's bad, he keeps filling us up with wine. <laughs> Noel really is a wonderful man, as well as being a fantastic waiter. He was a favourite of ours on this cruise. How are you two tonight then? I've had a lovely dinner tonight, really nice. Had it in the Latitude restaurant again. Bad Noel. Bad Noel. Bad Noel. He keeps filling our wine glasses <laughs> up, I tell you. Bad Noel. Good Noel. Yeah. Thank you, Noel. Another stunning sunset, then it was off to the theatre to see a guest artist tonight. Oh, go on then. Thanks, Herbie Adams. That was fun. Now it's time for a deck party. The bright and bold party. Yeah, all right. It's a little bit loud. They're a tad too energetic. Thought it was your night off, guys. Mm, bright and bold. Or oh, we're too old. Night, night. Wakey wakey, rise and shine, fill up your bottle, it's gangway time! Yep, who needs a bright and bold party when you've got a beautiful bright new day to explore somewhere new? Ooh, hello Wales! This all looks interesting! Go on, start the day off! Morning! Morning! We're in Harnia! Well, we're not actually. We're in Suda. We're in Suda, which is the port for Harnia. In Crete. In Crete, and we're going to go and try and find a bus. It's very simple. Right outside the port is the bus stop. There were two people working on the kiosk, one cash only and one card and cash. It was €1.50 each way and the buses ran all day. Let's go! They do pack you in, but it's only for 15 minutes and then... Pigeons! No, Wills, I was going to say they drop you off to go and explore. And the drop-off point is... We've arrived in Market Square in Carnia and that was about, what, 15, 20 minute bus drive yeah. from the terminal? And um, we've never been here before. Never, the, the one place on this yeah. whole cruise we've never been. So we, we don't know the place. We've, we've got, got a map. map and um, we're going to wonder. See what happens. We used this analog map they gave us. I also dropped a pin on Google Maps just to be safe. This is the municipal market of Harnia. It is currently undergoing renovations. We knew from research that Harnia has a Jewish quarter, a Turkish quarter, a Venetian harbour, and an old town. We started walking towards the sea and thought we'd see what, well, we'd see. Now, this looks beautiful. Let's take a look inside. This is the Church of St Nicholas, and as we stepped inside, we were blown away by its beauty. Despite having been a Catholic cathedral, then a mosque, this 14th century building is now a Greek Orthodox church. They share a candle. At every port on this cruise, I've lit a candle for my mum and dad, not only to remember them by, but also to thank them. After all, they always did love a cruise holiday, and now they both get to spend a while in each port. Thank you, mum and dad. Thoughts on this cathedral? That was one of the most stunning church interiors we've seen ever, not just this trip. We don't know much about anything today. I'm going to find out about it afterwards. We do think though this is the Church of St Nicholas. Um, I don't know much about the Greek Saint St Nicholas, but as far as Wills is concerned... It's Santa! I was going to say, really? But Google has just told me that Santa did in fact derive from Greek St Nicholas. Father Christmas was a Greek. Who knew? Beautiful buildings, beer tours around the city, Harnia really is a very charming place. We were keen to see more. Oh, what are these? We think these are the old Venetian dockyard buildings. Are you sure? Actually, Wills, they're the old Venetian ship sheds, which were used to service the Venetian fleet. They were built between 1526 and 1599, and there used to be 17 buildings like this. This is the only one that remains. And this is Permetheus. He steals fish from the gods. Anyway, back to the Venetian ship sheds. This is where the Venetian ships were repaired and their equipment maintained. Once, the ship sheds opened right onto the sea, which washed into them so that the ships could be hauled up. Oh, two cats, there's a little ginger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Today, it's where chancy cats scrounge food from local restaurants. It's a muppy. Is he a muppy? Yes, he looked like our old muppet. Where are you now? 
first pop stop of the day. We're taking it a lot slower today because it's still really, really hot. I'm loving this place so far. Well, I say we're going to take it easy. Our next quest was to walk all the way round the old port to the lighthouse. Let's get going. The sea looked so inviting as we made our way along the harbour wall. Now this fella was selling art. Sadly, he was cash only and we didn't have any. What have you found now, Wills? St Nicholas of the Mole Bastion. Santa's got a what? Actually, Mole is the name for the harbour wall protecting the harbour. We'd just like to give a huge shout out to John and Cara of John and Cara's Retired Travellers. They got engaged by this very lighthouse. Did you two make it yet? Well, that was a bit of a trek and the, you can't get in the lighthouse at all, but it's pretty impressive. It's the oldest one in Europe. Ooh, it's hot. Don't believe everything you read on signs, eh, Rach? Especially if they're in Greek. It is not the oldest lighthouse in Europe. Now, are you keeping hydrated? Second pop stop, we are pacing ourselves today. Keeping hydrated, kids. I take it you're on the beer, Wills? And the beer from Harnia is Chama. Cheers. Lovely. To watch the world go by, one pony and trap at a time. Here's Hisocrates, Cleocatra, Poseidon, and Hermiaoes and Cat Alexander the Great. I can't keep this up much longer. This is the Grand Arsenal, the last of the ship sheds to the west. It is now a cultural centre. Today it was showing a collection of movie memorabilia. Now where's this Phoenician harbour? There's the lighthouse again. Have you found it yet, Rach? What a pretty place. We're now at the Venetian Square and if you told me this was an Italian fishing port, I believe you, the architecture really is Italian. And behind me, the Hassan Mosque. It didn't seem to be open today and looked like it might be, in fact, the tourist office. There's the harbour and what a pretty one it is too. Do you agree, Wills? How pretty is this? Very pretty indeed. Although it was getting a little cruise ship busy by now. The plan was to stroll around the harbour, soaking up the atmosphere. And find somewhere for lunch. There were lots of places to choose from, but this is the one that took our fancy. Go on, tatsiki if we must, and... Pop stop number three. Pop. Yeah, right. It was a very nice tatsiki with a wonderful view out over the water. <laughs> He's not playing now. <laughs> Doesn't want to play now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Cheers, lads. Full of Greek sustenance, we continued our walk around the old Venetian harbour. It was so, so pretty. When you get to the end, the views back across the harbour and across to the lighthouse are stunning. There's also an old Venetian fortress, but we didn't go in that today. It was time to make our way back. Browse in a couple of shops. Wills, no. OK, I'm not going to get one today. Our poor travel wreath will be pulling the wall down if you carry on buying decorations. Yes, all in all, Hania is very pleasant. There's just time to buy some Greek salad mix, Wills' dad a mythos and... It's day five of the holiday and I haven't yet had an ice cream. Rectified now, Bailey's a mint chop chip, don't mind if I do. First one of the holidays, cheers. Behind us is the Greek Orthodox Cathedral. Yep, cooled down by ice cream, we thought we could manage another church. Thank you. It was time to make our way back. Ooh, YouTube. We should check that out. We'd ditched the analogue map by this time and were back on maps. Six pack coming, Wills. Ditch the beer, lad, and throw in a sit-up, eh? Maps worked and we were soon on our way back to the ship. There she is, home sweet home. Now it's time for Towel Animal Takedown. Rabbit pie, rabbit die. You'll be glad to hear there's only one of these left to go. There's going to be some people in trouble today. The captain's just come on the tannoy and we're a handful of passengers missing. And it's now 12 minutes after we should have sailed. He wasn't very happy, but we're still here. 
Ooh, naughty. Right, the gangway's up, which means the passengers who were missing must be on board. Either that will leave them behind. And we've decided we're not going to do the quiz today because there's music of the noughties. Uh, if it ain't the 80s, we don't want to know. We're rubbish at that, so don't know what else we're going to do. We'll find something. As it turns out, we found a rehearsal of a few of the ship's bands in the Squid and Anchor. And they played some 80s music. We freshened up and then went poolside as you could have barbecue for your tea tonight. It doesn't get more British than that. I have to say, it did smell absolutely amazing. But we can have a barbecue at home, so it was off to the restaurant Attitude 57 again. What are we having? Pumpkin soup for me today. Very Halloween. I am having a courgette frittata. Gone veggie on us. Veggie time green curry for me tonight. Wills has gone Asian. Salmon on crudely. Making the most of the fish. And for pudding, we're going to cheese and crackers. Oh, crackers me. You are crackers, you. Then it was up on deck for that obligatory sunset. It just doesn't get old, does it? It's a bit windy for that sunset. Amazing. It's showtime. Put your head against my love. Another thing the Brits cannot get enough of is a tribute act. To be fair, he was excellent and had the whole audience going. But once again, the evening was drawing to a close. The hardy ones partied in the squid and anchor. A few watched a movie under the stars. And we watched the ocean and went to bed because... Next time, we're in Olympia, and it's less chariots of fire and more carry a spare tyre. We'll be taking a look around Corfu Town too, saying goodbye to this gorgeous ship. I wish we could stay on board. Well, we definitely wish we could have stayed once we found out how awful Corfu Airport is, but all that's for next week. 10 to 10, we're finally through security. We've been queuing since 10, 10 to 7. 7. For now, sum up the last two days, kids. Well, we hope you've enjoyed the third of our series Ooh. on morale cruises. I hope you're not all Greek Islanders out yet. We've come up here to do our roundup and our cheers. We've gotten, we've a, gotten the drink. We've gotten a drink. How can we do a cheers? So we're going to have to cut to a cheers somewhere else. Oh. But anyway, sum up. What do you think of Rhodes and Cania? Rhodes Town, we love. Yes. Rhodes Town was hot. It was very it's hot. It's been really hot this whole time, but yeah. that was probably the hottest. Yeah, hottest. And I know thing. you didn't cope with it too well, did well, you? Well, no. The morning was fine, and we got. Early, we got. I the, love uh, that. We went up to the Street castle, of the, the, knights the knights and the Grand Master's Palace, which yeah, was absolutely amazing. We've not done that before. We've not been to the castle before, or the yeah, is it a castle? Grand was a castle. Palace. That's palace. on the palace. But we have wow. done the street before. But it was amazing. Fantastic. Um, yeah, it was so good to do. I'm glad we got up early. Yeah. But unfortunately, yeah, it just got hotter. I love going to that hotter. restaurant we went to. And I think I got before. a little bit of some stroke. I think you did. So we had to go back to the a little early. I was fine once we'd cooled down. I had a cold oh, yeah. shower yeah, and yeah, yeah. drank lots of water. We had lots of water, but it was just hot, hot, hot. The other things we're planning to do, if you carry on walking where we were walking yeah. past Mandraki Harbour, you go towards the new town and we wanted to go to an old Turkish graveyard that used to be full of cats. It wasn't last time we were there, then. No, it wasn't last but time. But Greece has been great for cats. Loads of cats. So the next day we got to Hania, <coughs> which never was been lovely. there before. Port of Suda. Really, really loved it. I thought there was no cats at first, but then there was cats for Loads days. Loads of them. Loved but we had to take a bus, didn't we, from Suda? Yeah, it took about 15 10, 15 minutes, minutes something like it that. It was lovely walking around that lighthouse. That was really nice. Yep. And what a pretty harbour, the Venetian really harbour. Nice. Absolutely really nice. beautiful. Yeah. Um, we said before we wanted to do a Greek island hopping in the future, even though we've never been to that one before, and I absolutely loved it, I probably wouldn't go back. No. Because I felt like there was... Um, there's probably more to it and everyone's going to go oh you missed out this I know there's a Jewish quarter I know there's a Turkish quarter we probably didn't get to see half of those yeah. wow some of those churches beautiful, were beautiful were absolutely yeah. incredible they were indeed but yeah absolutely great we've just done Olympia today mm. but we'll, you'll see that That's next week. week you'll see that next week and we're going home tomorrow we don't want to go home we because go yeah, we can stay another week so if you'd like this video that would be great it would be lovely if you'd hit that subscribe but button and Leave the comments, comments, all that, you know, yeah, being on a been cruise, all that, Greek being Greek islands, islands, islands all, that. all that sort of thing. But now, we are going to have to cut to somewhere else, because as we say in Postcard and Pint, Cheers, cheers to, to the, the good times. times. What do you call a flirty Greek philosopher? I don't know. Socrates. Oh.